Hello friends, this is the fourth part of the video series based on class 11 practical exams. The first three have been uploaded and watch this one also very carefully so that you can achieve full marks in your upcoming practicals. In this video, we are going to find out the measurement of an irregular lamina or you can say an irregular sheet using a screw gauge for this practical we will need a irregular lamina you can say an irregular sheet a screw gauge a squared centimeter graph paper a pencil and a meter scale or you can say normal scale the theory says that an irregular lamina is a body having no regular geometrical shape and whole thickness is negligible as compared to its length and breadth. The formula we are going to use is volume is equal to surface area into thickness. The surface of an irregular lamina is irregular in shape. It cannot be calculated by any known formula of geometry. For this practical, first we take a graph paper and put the irregular sheet on the graph paper and then we trace it after tracing the sheet is removed and then we count the number of squares the full squares are counted first and noted down after that the squares that are not fully filled but or filled more than half or are exactly half filled that come inside the area of the laminar sheet are counted thickness of the irregular laminar body is measured with the help of a screw gauge Similarly, as we measured the thickness of a thin paper, that in the way that we have measured the thickness of a thin wire in the previous activity, the same way we are going to measure the thickness of this paper, or you can say the laminar sheet. So in this image, you can see how the area of the sheet was measured. I had taken this shape and the ones that are filled more than half are taken, which means they are also being counted and the rest of them which are completely full or, or just pointed with a small dot. The measurement of the thickness of the sheet is the same way you measure the thickness of the Y. You take the reading five times and with the help of a screw gauge. For the measurement of this sheet, you can refer to the previous video. Then you can see in this image, the result you get is the volume of the given lamina is 3.102 centimeter cube after that the precautions come precautions have, as I have always said and I am telling this time also are very important zero error should always be taken into account stop turning the sachet as soon as it starts slipping because if you do so then you might get a serious error in your reading error due to parallax should be avoided then comes source of error these are also important the sheet may not be uniform thickness although it is a source of error that usually occurs, but you must take you must try to shake, take a sheet that is uniformly thick. Then error due to backlash always exists. Yes, this is an important point because it can be minimized but cannot be completely done away. Then division of the pitch scale may not be evenly spread. So take the correct screw gauge and then you get the correct reading. So thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the like icon.